Okay, you guys, let's start off with a little grocery haul. I got enough for two meals specifically and a couple other things, but I didn't really buy any snacks this week. Um, I'll explain the Doritos in a second. <laughs> and yeah, so I spent about $100 on this. We all know prices of groceries are what they are right now, um, but I think it's helpful to like tell you guys how much I spent when I got a good amount of produce, obviously some meat, and yeah, so let's just go through it. Um, so starting with the produce, I am making, the two meals I'm making are a taco salad for lunches this week, and then a Thai green curry, and I already had some of the stuff for the Thai green curry, so I got everything else that I needed. So we got romaine lettuce, that's my favorite kind of lettuce, it's like the crunchiest, so I'm going to use that for my salads. I got two things of grape tomatoes, one's going to be for snacking, and then the other is going to be for the salads. I got some carrots, some of these are for the curry actually, and then some are also for snacking. I got a green pepper and a red pepper for the curry, avocados for the salads, and just to eat with like eggs in the morning or whatever else. Fruit of choice this week is raspberries and blueberries, they were on sale. And then broccoli is also for the curry. Then moving over to like proteins and dairy, I got a Mexican shredded cheese and a sharp cheddar cheese. I get the reduced fat in both of those. So I like to put cheese in my eggs in the mornings and then also this is for the salad. So that's why I've got um, two packages there. I've got lean ground beef, that'll be for the taco salads, chicken thighs. Sometimes I do buy organic chicken. I'm doing my best with this. I get overwhelmed with like all the things that I read and hear about food these days, but when I can find this big package of chicken thighs, I tend to go for this. So that's just my kind of little thing on that. But I've got some Greek yogurts for protein smoothies in the morning. I've been drinking kefir, and I've been drinking oat kefir. Just to switch it up, kefir is so good with probiotics. When I was in my GI clinical rotation in PA school, the doctor that I worked with harped on um, kefir. Harped isn't the right word. Like, loved kefir so much. He drank it every day. He told all his patients to drink it. He said it was way better than drinking, than actually taking probiotics. So getting back into this and drinking that again just to help with my gut health. And so I got blueberry maple flavored. It's actually really, really good. So I kind of drink that as like a little yogurt smoothie kind of thing in the morning. Um, we just got egg whites. I got ranch dressing, but this is like a lower calorie dressing for the taco salad. I'll put this with salsa on top of there. So it's a lot less fat, which is good. So that'll be for salads and for dipping the carrots and the tomatoes in for a snack. And then it is August, what, 12th? 13th right now. <laughs> it's August. This is actually my second week getting my pumpkin spice creamer already and I'm excited. <laughs> I try to stretch it out as long as, as long as humanly possible. Protein bars. These are my protein bars of choice. These ones have 20 grams of protein versus like the 12 grams that the other ones that I sometimes get have. So much higher on protein. Reduced sodium taco seasoning for the beef. The Doritos are for the taco salad. Um, we'll see, I'll probably have some leftovers, but they are for the taco salad. I don't love Doritos, like that's not a chip that I would snack on normally. I'm more of like a barbecue chip kind of gal, but anyways, Doritos for the taco salad. Baby corn for the curry. I got some refried beans. I want to eat these with eggs in the morning too. It's actually a really good combo if you've never had it. So that's for that and black beans for the salad and salsa for the salad to mix with the ranch to make like my own little ranch salsa ranch dressing and there you have it totally forgot i was recording okay so it is monday and it is august 15th i showed you guys my grocery haul and so now i'm in the middle of i just started but in the middle of making my and doing my meal prep for the work week so i want to take you guys along with me so far i'll show you what i've done and what i'm doing so i literally just cooked the rice for my curry which is for dinners and then i'm starting to cut and prep the vegetables for the curry now and then I also am separating, I need some of the carrots for the curry, so I'm separating the other ones into bags for snacks for work, so that I already have them separated. So that's what I'm in the middle of now. So yeah, 
let's hop back into it. Today I am listening to music on my headphones, just like really immersing in it. I did just listen to a whole podcast as I was like doing laundry and cleaning a little bit. And so the podcast finished and now I'm in the mood for some jams. So that's what I'm gonna do and let's get into it. just to show you guys what's going on here. So I just chopped up these vegetables. I actually realized I need some of these peppers. I'm gonna take those out and chop them into smaller pieces for the taco salad that I'm making for my lunches. And then I am gonna cut up the rest of this onion for the salads. And I'm gonna move on to cutting up these tomatoes for the salad as well. Over here, I've got the carrots. It's still heating up, but they're gonna steam a little bit first before I throw the broccoli in. To steam with that, this is all for the curry. I think in the meantime as well, before I get chopping on this, I'm gonna get the chicken ready so that that can be cooking while I finish chopping up things so I can like double task. So I will get go going on the chicken actually for the curry and then I'll finish chopping vegetables. Oh, and I'm drinking kombucha. I think drinking kombucha out of a pretty glass while I meal prep just is a vibe. Try to romanticize my life. I am drinking this one. This is the first time I've gotten the Simple Truth brand. I got the raspberry hibiscus. It's okay. Like I'll drink it, but my favorite is still this Synergy Guava Goddess. I like this one a lot better. So anyways, a little way to romanticize my life while I meal prep without drinking like wine or anything because I don't want to get sleepy. So yeah, let's continue. Okay, I've got the chicken cooking for the curry. I've got the vegetables pretty much all prepped. So once the chicken's done, I will throw the vegetables in and then throw the sauce on top. That'll be done. I've done um, all my chopping up of my vegetables that I need for my salads and all I've got left for that is I need to cook the ground beef which I'm going to start here and I'm going to, last thing I need to do is I have a can of black beans that I need to drain and just put in Tupperware and then I'm going to mix up my dressing. I'm going to make a homemade salsa ranch kind of dressing. I got like a, a low calorie ranch dressing that you would have seen in my grocery haul and then a salsa. So I I think I'm gonna mix that up too, taste it, see how it is, and then that'll be it. Like, I'm almost done, so good. Let me show you my vegetables really quick. So for on the salad, I did chop up romaine lettuce. I have it already. I did things a little bit differently this time. If you would have watched one of my most, like I think it was my last meal prep that I did, I did all my salads like individually made for the week. And while that's great to like grab and go, it's a lot of work on meal prep day. So I'm still prepping ahead of time, but instead of like individually making each salad, because I don't really have like the good meal prep containers for that yet either. That's the other thing. If I had the good meal prep containers where I could keep everything separate, I might do it ahead of time. It might make it easier, but I don't. So I'm gonna prep my salad for tomorrow work day and then each night I'll just have the ingredients already chopped up ready to go I'll just have to make the salad really quick so still a little bit of you know more work to do during the week however everything's prepped so I literally just have to throw it in to make the salad which does make things a lot easier so let me show you the vegetables onion peppers tomatoes corn and this is actually just frozen corn I'm gonna put in the fridge to thaw and then I chopped up some romaine lettuce and then like I said I've got the black beans and then I've got Doritos that I'm gonna put as my topping. So I gotta put those into baggies as well. And there you have it. Always rinse these suckers. 
Look at all that. The vegetables for the curry it looks more like a stir fry but whatever um, but anyways I got the vegetables for the curry pretty much done and cooked and so what I'm gonna do is throw the chicken in there really quickly which I can just do that right now actually and then I'm gonna throw the sauce on top and just let it simmer for a little bit right now is pack up my like individual salad for tomorrow and then I'm gonna eat dinner actually no I'll clean the kitchen first I'll show you guys that because always you know that's part of meal prep that's the end of it and then I'm gonna eat dinner and call it a night so it took me about two hours tonight it always takes me a little bit longer when I'm filming but it is what it is it's okay and I just make it fun like I said I had my kombucha and I listened to music you saw me dancing <laughs> like I honestly just make it a really good time and I've gotten to the point where I actually start to look forward to my meal prepping, which is not how I used to see it because I used to just think it was time consuming. But now since I've made it this like fun routine, I've kind of romanticized it. I have fun with it. So if you guys are struggling to meal prep, I definitely do recommend trying that. Like romanticize it. Put on your favorite music. Put on a nice podcast or an audiobook. Um, drink a glass of wine or a glass of kombucha or a glass of your favorite soda, drink, whatever. And just have a good time. And remember that when you're doing this, you are doing this for your future self. You are fueling your body. And I do this to set myself up for a good week, a week where I don't have to cook as much, a week where I know I'm eating healthy home cooked meals. And yeah, so yeah, let me get to packing up this lunch, doing these dishes so I can sit down and eat my dinner. I tried to make it like short and sweet. I feel like longer meal prep videos probably wouldn't keep your attention. But let me know if you want me to include any more information. These recipes, obviously like the salad was just chopping up vegetables and adding that in. And the curry this time was like a pre-made curry sauce which made it easy and I just chose whatever vegetables I wanted. I used chicken thighs and then yeah, for lunches or for snacks this week, I've got vegetables in that ranch dip. I've got protein bars I showed you. But yeah, so that's it. Like I talked earlier about my meal prep and how it just saves me during the week and helps me stay on track to eating healthy, fueling my body and giving me extra time during the week. Like totally recommend it if you guys don't already do it. And yeah, let me know if you have any questions or want to see anything else in terms of meal prep from me. And I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you guys in the next video.